Shalom, Shalom, Israel. First and foremost, I would like to give all praises, honor, and glorification unto Yahweh Bashem Mashiach, Wamalak Yahweh Shai. Yahweh being the name of the Heavenly Father, who were calls God, and Yahweh Shai being the name of his beloved Son, who were called Jesus Christ, known as the Savior of the nation of Israel. It's by the Malachi, the WFRD Joy Camp. Coming at you with another daily exhortation video. And this is exhorting Israel to continue in the faith. Right, as it states in Acts chapter 14, verse 22, it states, we through much tribulation shall enter into the kingdom. Right, so we're going to have to go through it. We're going to have to catch hell. But we must continue in the faith. Right, uh, first uh, Timothy chapter 6 and verse 12. Right, let me bring out the precepts, man. Right, because you got a lot of brothers and sisters that fall out of this thing because of that tribulation. Because of that persecution, that fire, that other get turned on. They start catching hell and they get offended at the Lord. But the Lord said, blessed is he that is not offended in me. Right? You got to count the cause when you come into this truth. You got to know what you get yourself into. This is the book of Matthew chapter 11 and verse 6. And blessed is he whosoever shall not be offended in me. So you can't be offended in Hamashiach Yahawashah. You got many people, they come into this thing, they endure for a season. But persecution arise for the gospel's sake. And when it's time to really go hard for the Lord, they get offended at the Lord and they fall out this thing. They become those trees that got their branches broken off. As it states in Wisdom of Solomon, chapter 4, verse 4, and Daniel, chapter 4, verse 14. Right? Those imperfect branches. They really didn't have no root in this thing. When you come into this thing, you got to find root in Hamashiach Yahweh As it states, rooted and built up in him. Right? Let's get that in Colossians, chapter 2. Right? It's going to be a quick lesson through the spirit. Quick daily exhortation video. Continue in the faith, Israel. Right? Don't be like a reed shaking in the wind. Take everything on the chin. You got to be a soldier for your high Hashem Yahweh Shah. Right? So bear with me. Colossians chapter 2 in verse 6. As ye have therefore received from Hashem Yahweh Shah, the Lord, so walk ye in him. Rooted and built up in him. So you got to be rooted, right? Because men are likened onto trees in the Bible. You got to be a rooted tree. Lest when that wind come, you get shaken with the wind and you get broken off. And that wind represents destruction, uh, affliction, persecution, all hell breaking loose, right? But you got to be that rooted tree planted by living waters. As it states in Psalms, the first chapter. It say rooted and built up in him and established in the faith as ye have been taught. Abounding therein with thanksgiving And you got to always give thanks Unto your Ha'abashim Yahweh Shai For bringing you into this truth Because you could have been left in the world Most I could have gave you over to a reprobate spirit And he could have just rejected you totally man. But he actually brung you into this truth To give you a chance At repentance and get your spirit right For what's to come on the earth Right? And that's the, the grace of the Most High As it states in Ephesians chapter 2 and verse 8 By grace ye are saved We not saved by our works alone right of course you got to have works and faith but we are ultimately saved by uh, the grace that the most high bestow upon us right so you got to continue in this thing israel let's get another precept on it right bear with me this is the book of luke chapter 9 verse 62 and yahweh Shah said unto him no man having put his hand to the plow and looking back is fit for the kingdom of god now, the plow represents the work, right? So when you put your hand to this work, you come into this truth, you put on them fringes, right? You put off the old man, you go out there on the highways and byways and teach. Hey, man, that's it. You didn't sign a, a blood contract with your Shemia was shot. You must endure this thing. But if you look back, if you go back into the world, you go back to sin, go back to perdition, the Most High is not going to have no pleasure in you. And you're not fit for the kingdom. Meaning you're going to be utterly destroyed and eradicated off this earth, man. Right, the Most High not playing no damn games. If you struggling with a sin, if you falling short, hey man, do better. Get right. Cleave to these scriptures, man. Right? Because the Most High, every day is a new day of repentance, man. When you really think about it every day, you wake up, you open your eyes, that's a new day for you to repent and get your spirit right. Alright? So let's get another precept. Let's get Hebrews, um, the 10th chapter. It's the book of Hebrews chapter 10 and verse 35. 
It say, cast not away therefore your confidence, which have great recompense of reward. And your confidence represents your faith. For ye have need of patience, that after ye have done the will of the Most High, ye might receive the promise. So in this truth, you got to learn patience. Right? Because, hey man, you got certain brothers that have been in the truth 30 years, 50 years, elders in this thing. And you've been in the truth for a measy old five years or seven years, and you already getting impatient. No, man, you need patience. The scriptures say, and your patience possess you, your souls. Because we don't know when the Lord is actually coming back. No man know the day, know the hour. Most high could come back 10 years, send his son back to come back 10 years from now, 20 years from now. We don't know, right? We could be here for a long time. Most high forbid, but we need patience, right? So we can endure these things and endure this trial. It say, for yet a little while, and he that shall come will come and will not tarry. Talking about Hamashiach and Hawashah. Now the just shall live by faith, but if any man draw back, my soul shall have no pleasure in him. But we are not of them who draw back unto perdition, but of them that believe to the saving of the soul. So we're not like those that go back into the world, draw back to sin. We got to believe to the saving of our souls, man. There's many brothers and sisters that have left the gospel, forsooken the most high. Now they be reeling on the uh, Hebrew Israelites. Oh, you know, I was in that cult. I was in that religion. I don't know what I was thinking. Oh, man, I'm back in the world. Oh, I'm popping a bottle. And some people lead the truth and they go back to the Christian church. Right? They lead the truth. They put on that kufi again. They, they go down, make uh, what they call it, salat. Right? And they go back into the world, man. But you got to believe to the saving of your soul. You got to endure this thing. Endure the trial. Endure the tribulation. The hell. Right? Even when you feeling like you're not worthy. Hey, man, pick yourself back up. Let not your sins weigh you down. Go harder for the most high. Right? So with that, all praises to your high, Shalom.